Morning fellas, just wanted to show you my Osram laser alloy case jammer uh, with this venerable old gun, speed gun. As you guys probably already know, all the ones sold in the US use these infrared 900 nanometer capable LEDs. And these are okay, these are good, they're great value, they're about 50 cents each, something like that, in your currency, 50 60 cents each, and they're pretty reliable, but they very very limited on output power this is why all the all the jammers in the US they've got to have two or three or if it's a huge camper they've got to have like four heads to stand any chance of protecting you because they're, they're cheap and cheerful they're reliable they're cheap and that's what the Chinese do isn't it they, they make you know slave labor machine made stuff very cheaply and sell it at top price so just want to give you a quick demo of this I say, if you, if you care to look on YouTube, you'll find some older videos done by a uh, bit of a legend, Radar Roy, and he actually uses this same old gun, and you will see from his videos that when it's jammed, it always jumps into Error 2, EO2. It's the same with all the LTI models, but they all get pretty old now, uh, when all said and done. But this, this jammer unit will even affect the latest ones, because uh, the... Uh, the signal pattern is agilent it it's completely adapts to the incoming jammer signal which is no other jammer does basically I'll just give you a quick demo try and hit the damn thing there's that little awesome. that's off it then give you a quick demo it's a quite narrow beam it's only designed to go after that will be we take a seat as a bit easier. So we don't want loads of faults around so we don't want it going off to anything. Just want it going off when you hit six hundred yards away. Right. There we go. Alright. Closer I think. Of course this is behind a light shield, the black shield at the front. Jumping through a two yet? Possibly not. No, not yet. But this is the effect you get anyway. But obviously, wouldn't be quite this bright at range. There we go. This is in daylight, and this is an infrared camera. Normally, you wouldn't see anything. This was my iPhone or my Samsung. You wouldn't see anything. And quite often, it does jump straight into error two. At this range it's quite difficult as you can imagine. Some of you guys will have seen my videos.